Hey, hey, everybody. All right. I ran out of storage capacity. So we're going to finish up on the uh, reading of the sheriff affidavit. And uh, before we get going on that, I just want to remind you of something. All right. The doctrine of non-resistance against arbitrary power and oppression is absurd. Slavish. And destructive. Of the good and happiness of mankind. These are the words from your forefathers. They risked their lives, their fortunes, and some of them lost their lives and their fortunes to give you the God-given freedoms in contract. <clears throat> you weren't born a slave. And the only reason you're living like one, oh, you're in chains. Every one of you. You're just invisible. You are in fear all the time. You're chasing your tail. You're confused. And when you got a problem, you need a bar attorney. Well, what a system. All right. <clears throat> we'll get back on track here with this reading. And then we'll talk about a few things. I'll put my cheaters on. All right. I believe this is about where we got cut off. Admit the United States Patent and Trademark Office, a federal agency, has bad actors suppressing breakthrough advancements in human health. Admit, <clears throat> excuse me, admit that the National Institute of Health funded 1.8 billion taxpayer dollars to rejuvenate lost gum tissue under the disguised title of revolutionizing the root canal in the same month and year that the Kalkaska County Sheriff's Department and the Michigan State Police raids of December 2015 affected incarceration and many criminal charges on Mr. Ethan D. Dean. Admit that one of the people rejuvenates lost gum tissue. One of the people rejuvenates lost gum tissue. Who could that be? Huh. You would think that guy would be famous. Not that he wants to be. All right, I, I, I get back to the reading here. All right. Admit that one of the people rejuvenates lost gum tissue with cannabis. Did I just read that? I'm sorry. No, I'm not. I'm going to read it again. Admit that one of the people rejuvenates lost gum tissue with cannabis. Admit that science fails to rejuvenate lost gum tissue. Admit that poor oral health is harmful to humans. Admit that tooth decay is harmful to humans. I got a little righteous indignation, so excuse me if I'm not completely dignified. And I let a little passion rip. Admit that knowingly suppressing a medical advancement is treasonous. 
admit that I have repeatedly and for years noticed government of my breakthrough discoveries in oral health with cannabis. Admit that all people have a mouth. Admit that all people develop teeth. Admit that you do not wish or want tooth decay. Admit that you do not wish for or want receding gum tissue. Admit that you do not want or wish for poor oral health. Admit that you like to be healthy. Admit that being healthy is a cause for happiness. Constitutionally guaranteed right to pursue happiness. Is being forced to have less than good health a reason for happiness? Hmm. Oh, I got to go back to the reading. Admit that happiness is a hard muster when a free man is trespassed. Admit that being free to decide your health options is a liberty. I think I see that word in our constitutions, liberty. Admit that liberty is a constitutional right of the people. Oh, son of a gun, how about that? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Admit that I can freely give legal advice. I can, and I am. Admit that I am advising you on common law. Admit that I am advising you on bar, member associate, bar members association. Admit there will be no legal action against me for advising you on the law. See how the attorneys lie. Admit that bar attorneys will tell you I cannot legally give legal advice. Admit that the people can come together and discuss law. Admit that bar attorneys lie. Admit that the Kalkaska County prosecutor has lied in violation of his constitutional just duty and responsibility in unjust, evil, wicked, nefarious violations against the people. Admit that misrepresentation of truth that negatively impacts a constitutional right of a free man to achieve a personal agenda is treason. Admit that my phone was tapped and I was surveilled for months by Michigan public servants after my sentencing hearing in Kalkaska County 2016. Admit that you have received copy of my complaints with testimony addressed to Gretchen Whitmer. A little bit more than a complaint. Admit that you have received copy of my complaint and testimony addressed to D. Christopher Evans. Admit that you have received copy of my complaint with testimony addressed to Drew Hirschfield. All right, this would be the DEA and the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. Top guys. All right, we got a couple other names on here that um, I'm not going to reveal right now. They're in the sheriff's hands. Well, the rest order. Admit that the Internal Revenue Service treats cannabis business differently than traditional businesses. Admit that you have not responded to my request to meet with you. Admit that the Calcasca County, County Sheriff's Department and the Michigan State Police, as the Traverse Narcotics Team, led by Officer King, conspired together to disregard the court ordered instruction, and in fact, they left the majority of cannabis-related evidence with Mr. Ethan D. Dean of the December 2015 raids. Can you imagine that? 
Admit that a private membership association is outside of government. Admit the u- that the union of a free man and a free woman in matrimony by nature creates a private member association. So when you took your first breath, you were not a slave, and you were a member of a private member association. What private member association? The people. The free people. Back that up and listen to it again. And then back it up and listen to it again, because that's probably the most important thing I've said. Admit that the violations of my, Mr. Ethan D. Dean, constitutional rights listed here in this document may not account for all the constitutional violations perpetrated against me or number of attacks. Yet I, Mr. Ethan D. Dean, have sufficiently stated the nefarious evil wicked crimes committed against me and the people of Michigan and humanity the world over am are rightly entitled to receive due care and remedy. All right, so I never met the sheriff, right? We talked about that. We talked about the fact that the sheriff's got this order. We talked about the fact that an independent dentist did an evaluation, plaque removal, gum tissue rejuvenation. I didn't know the dentist. I barely knew that man. He was a farmer that walked into my shop. (sighs) United States Patent Trademark Office. Examiner interferes in my case. And I have him. And the... (sighs) And more. So, uh... This affidavit to the sheriff. How come he didn't take a remedy? Why wouldn't he take that remedy? I'm willing to bet there's a reason. I don't know what that reason is. But I wonder Since he needs to arrest the prosecutor, the Calcast County prosecutor, the sergeant of the Michigan State Police, and a few others here in his county, for the reasons stated in my affidavit court case, I held court. It's a court of record document. It's unrebuted. I need a jury to dispense justice for the people. You need a jury. Now, uh, I see uh, a report that uh, Governor DeSantis there in Florida is forming a military, a state military, not calling in the military, but forming a military. Maybe I got that wrong, but that was news today. Uh, People... You have to take action. 
even if it's just owning your authority. Create yourself a notice of liability. Let's talk about this notice of liability. All right, let, let's just go to what, what's really important here. Constitutionally, I am a free man by nature. Male or female. When you took your first breath, were you a slave? Were you a slave? No, you weren't. All right, let's take a look at the next thing here. I am not property to be administered. Are you a slave? Why are you letting people administer you? I'm going to tell you why. Miss teachings for generations. We know who's responsible for that. Well, we know the organization. Well, at least you go back to the 1800s and their formation. One of their primary objectives was the setting of academic standards. All right. I am not in contract with the state or any agency, department, or division within or of the state. All right, now maybe you're thinking, holy shit, I got a corporation, I own a corporation, or I own a limited liability corporation, or... Well, okay, you do. And that corporation's in contract, not you. Not you. You own that company, just like you own the government. All right. What's the next thing on here? No entity nor man has title over or ownership of a free man. If you're a free man, Male or female? Does somebody own you? Does somebody have title over you? If no one owns you, and no one has title over you, and you have a compact, that means contract, a trust indenture, that spells out how free you are and what power you have and what limited authority the servants have. What's next down here that's important? It Administrating a free man is repugnant to his freedom, liberty, happiness, privacy, security, and life. You think that's important? I think it's important. Who's going to administer you? Just because he's got a badge and he's been improperly trained. Is that a reason for you to submit? I'm going to go over this again just too important that all persons vested with the legislative or executive powers of government are the trustees of the public and as such accountable for their conduct wherefore whenever the ends of government are perverted 
and the public liberty manifestly endangered and all other means of redress are ineffectual, the people may, and of right, ought to reform the old or establish a new government. The doctrine of non-resistance against arbitrary power and oppression is absurd, slavish, and destructive to the good and happiness of mankind. Now, I've been trying to figure some things out here for a few decades. Now, when I discovered health benefits from cannabis and I got visual, measurable, repeatable results from independent professionals, I'm thinking, well, cool. Zero medicinal value. It's kind of like out the window. Because uh, the DEA has cannabis classified as a Schedule One narcotic with zero medicinal value and a high propensity for abuse. The abuse is the government. Mm -hmm. All right. So we got the we got the patent office interfering in my case heavily. To the point of a denial, even. When the $1.8 billion study fails to rejuvenate competition. So, we're still at a rate of about 15 million toxic teeth being put in because of another association, the American Dental Association, who refuses to look at my work because I'm not a dentist. And in six years, there isn't one dentist that's got the cojones. Sorry, ladies. There isn't one male dentist that's got the cojones. And there isn't one female dentist that's got the spirit. Why? Because they're in fear. Why are they in fear? Because they're slaves. When you're not a slave, you don't have to worry about certain things. Like what you say and what you think and what you want to do and when you want to do it and where you want to go and when you want to go there and who you want to go with and who you want to be with. Or how fast or how slow you want to get there. All right, we must do something. So the first thing is get over the mental block. Understand you're not a slave, own your authority. Get over the fear. Don't let fear control you. Find your faith in the Lord. Walk through the valley of darkness. Walk through the valley of death. And fear no evil. You do God's work. And when God says your work is done, your work is done. Well, 
while you're here. There's work to be done. You must stand by and watch your fellow man be oppressed. Well, I guess so, because you're letting them do it to you. And your brother and your sister and your mother and your father and your grandmother and your grandfather, your cousin, your friend. Look, it's not easy. That doesn't mean it ain't worth doing. We're going to form these constitutional committees. And we're going to visit these sheriffs. We're going to follow up. We're going to get the veterans involved. This isn't hard, people. I might have to raise a little bit of money to make it happen. We're going to make it happen. All my brothers and sisters on this planet Got a mouth. Shouldn't be denied oral health. Shouldn't have international interference. Yeah, I've done international business in my life. Before cannabis. And guess what? I was threatened with my life by government officials in another country. I was drugged three times in another country. I'm over there with a multi-million dollar contract for a major U.S. company doing product development, and I'm being threatened with my life. I'm being drugged. I took care of business. And here in America, Governor Snyder doesn't have time. How long has he been out of office? How many people are sitting in prison? Because of that treasonous piece of it. What about Gretchen Whitmer and her administration and my congressmen? Well, their names are on there. I got the emails, I got the correspondence. These people have done you wrong. Is there a bar attorney at the head of every cannabis organization? Is that bar attorney the member, a member of a private member association that operates outside of government? Matt Abel just retired as the head of the, uh, I, I think, the Michigan Normal earlier this year. Had correspondence back and forth with one of our legislative servants about his retirement. How many people did he represent? How many people went to jail and prison? How many people were in court because he didn't say, hey, why don't you just form a private member association? Operate outside of government. Oh, well, then the cat would be out of the bag, wouldn't it? Well, the cat's out of the bag. <laughs> so, God is good. Now, you can do this. 
I'm just an old man. I'm no hero. I'm just an old man. But I fear God. And I love God. I honor God. We got a job to do. First thing is own your authority. I got a whole own your authority series. If you put your vehicle into private, why not? I'll show you how. Simple. One page document. Own your authority. These sheriffs are elected. These county prosecutors are elected. They have duty, obligation, responsibility. They are accountable. They are to be responsive. To you. It's your company. It's your life. It's your liberty. It's your freedom. You weren't a slave when you were born. All right, one more time. Well, no, we're going to add a couple here, okay? Arizona, Article 1, Bill of Rights, Rights of Persons. All men are, by nature, free and independent and have certain unalienable rights, among which are those of enjoying and defending life, liberty, acquiring, processing, and protecting property, and pursuing and obtaining safety and happiness. All right. I'm glad that I picked that piece of paper up right now because this is serious. This is life and death. No force is excessive in protecting your life. Your freedom and your liberty. That's why you got a First Amendment and a Second Amendment. Let's read that again. Rights of persons. All men are, by nature, free and independent, and have certain unalienable rights, among which of those are enjoying and defending. 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 Defending what? Defending your right. To what? To life. What else? Liberty. What else? Acquiring. Possessing. And protecting property. What property? Your property. Your children are your property. Your wife or your husband is your property. Your possessions are your property. Your privacy is yours. And pursuing and obtaining safety and happiness. Do you feel safe and do you feel happy? Well, then why aren't you pursuing it? Because you don't know what to do, right? Because you're confused. You got so many people telling you. You got Mookie telling you to get your uh, family tree, your birth certificate, a bunch of papers, 50 bucks, send it off to him in another country 
Uh, he's going to get you a national ID. They're going to put it through their computer system. It's too complicated for you. You got these uh, these the, these assembly groups. Uh, they're going to tear down government. Going to start a new one. Going to this. You know, look, people. You got your state's constitutions. You have the best PMA you could ever want. You are free. You are not slaves. There's got to be a good sheriff out there. If there isn't, we'll replace them all. Well, let's get one state. Now, there in Florida, the notices have been sent to the sheriffs. Now we need a constitutional committee visiting every sheriff. That means eyeball to eyeball. Veterans, you swore an oath. We have enemies at home. And we have servants that are not serving us. I'm calling on you. I'm calling on the veterans. We need you again. Our posterity needs you now. We have got to save the future now. Let's save the future now. It's time for corrective action. It's time for justice. All right. I'm going to end it here. I love you all. Be healthy. Be safe. Be smart. Use a pen and paper. Don't fall on the sword. Be a rock. Fear God. Love God. Crush evil. Blessings on y'all. Love y'all. Peace out. Catch you next time.